So, currently Starry Night, our boat, is diesel powered only. And we want to make it a hybrid. So here's the plan. As I said, we already have a diesel engine. The boat already has a propeller shaft with a propeller at the end. We want to add an electric motor. This way, we can use the diesel engine to power the propeller, or we can use the electric engine to power the propeller. And also, when you're sailing, you can use the propeller to send power back to the electric motor. This is the... Oh, God dang it! This is Starry Night, a courageous plucky sailboat who has only one dream, to sail around the world and have lots of adventures. No, 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 not like that. It's around the world, not through it. But not everything was going to plan. Starry Night was abandoned on the heart for 12 full years. But one day, he found us. My name is Paulo, and this is Katerina. And these are our two very overactive kids. After a crazy amount of work, Starry Night is once again ready to sail the oceans. So sit back, relax, and join us in this adventure. And we will all find out together where Starry Night will end up next. Nice. If you know where I copied, where I got the inspiration for that last skid, put it down in the comments. Well, why do this? There are three really good reasons to do this. The first one is safety, and this is a big one. If you have electric propulsion that's independent from your diesel engine, it means that even if you lose your diesel engine, you will have propulsion. It happened to us that we had a problem with our diesel fuel, we lost the main engine, but because we had the electric one, we were still able to get uh, into port safely, which is huge. The second reason, and this one is also very huge, <laughs> is to save your diesel engine. Why is that? Well, when you're out cruising, most of the time you just want to do short trips and then put your sails up. What I mean is you want to get out of the marina and then you put your sails up and turn on the off the engine. Or you want to get out of anchorage and you only use the, the engine for like 10-15 minutes. Well, that's terrible for diesels. Every time you start them up, they are cold and they are using years of life. So if you have an electric propulsion system, you can use it to get out and in of, of the marina. You won't um, use a lot of battery and it will save your diesel engine in the long run. And the third one is to save money, which is also good because all of these trips, these uh, 10 minute, 15 minute trips that you do, they use diesel. But if you use the solar panels in your boat to, to do those, you won't use any any diesel, which is good. You can also use it like we did. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't really have the right wind to actually sail. You're only doing like two and a half knots. Well, just give it, I don't know, 30, 40 amps, and he'll be going four and a half, five knots, just with the help of the electric engine. No noise, you're not using a lot of energy, and you'll be sailing right along. It, I don't know if you can call it motor sailing, but yeah, it's almost the same concept. Well, anyway, here's the plan. We already have a diesel engine and a shaft and a propeller. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to add to the diesel engine an electric motor. And we're going to add a pulley system that connects the electric motor to the pulley. So when it turns, it makes the shaft turn. To the electric engine, we are going to have connected a controller to control the, the motor and we're also going to add a touch screen. You can see it here in the... In, in the uh, uh, where we can control which mode we want to be in and a throttle, which will be a potentiometer that will allow us to decide if we're going forwards, fast, slow, or backwards. So that's it. Hopefully we're not going backwards. <laughs> this is the plan. Prices, the motor, about 600. The controller, 250 to 300. 
DHMI, which is a touchscreen and a potentiometer, uh, about 50 bucks. And then there's various bits and bobs like the pulleys and all of that. That's like, I don't know, 150 to 200. So you can see you can do all of this for less than 1500. If you do the work yourself, if you have someone else do it for you, it's gonna be way more expensive. Um, oh, this is a very dumbed down version of what we're actually doing to keep this video short and to keep the YouTube gods happy. But if you wanna do it yourself and you need a more in-depth explanation of what is going on, going into exactly which components are used, I have like an hour long video on this subject in the channel membership. So if you need it, check it out. Okay, so let's start by programming DHMI. Right, programming. Where do I start? Okay, so the code is almost ready to start testing, at least bench testing. Just a couple more functions and then we'll be able to test and see if everything works. If it works in the bench, then we will install it in the boat and we'll go from there. So let's go into electric propulsion. There you go, we're in electric propulsion. And then now all I have to do is use the throttle and as you can see if I go this way it goes faster or slower forward if I go the other way it turns the other way and here I get a real-time information about how many amps it is using and the temperature of the the motor so then if I go into engine generator I can use the slider but in this time, what it's doing is, it's choosing how much power it will produce. So, I'm gonna turn the lathe, it's gonna be a little bit noisy, but we'll... Here we go. So, now I'm using the lathe to turn the motor, and because this is at zero, I am producing nothing. But if I go up, now you can see it's minus six. If I go a little bit higher, minus 10. And it went into system standby. It went into system standby by its own because the batteries are full. So the algorithm, what it does is, if it senses that the batteries have reached, in this case, 27.5 uh, watts, uh, volts, uh, it goes automatically into system ready and it, into standby and it doesn't um, overcharge the batteries. That's, that's an important feature. So this is the perfect use case for an auxiliary um, electric motor. Uh, we are going down Rio Guadiana and the current of the river is about two knots, maybe. And, you know, we have a little bit of wind from behind, but not enough to sail. And because the river is very bendy, uh, it would be unstable anyway. But it's a 40 degrees Celsius day. It's so hot. So whenever you use the engine inside of the, the boat, it gets really hot in there. So if you use an electric engine, you're not heating up the cabin and you get about three knots of forward motion, which allows you to steer the, the vessel. You're steering fine? Yes. Nice. Yes. So what do you got here? We're doing 4.5 knots, 4.6 over the water and over the, um, wow, 4.2 over the water and 4.4 speed over ground. Well, I wouldn't trust the over the water speed. We're doing more like three knots over the water, but you know those pedal thingies, they don't always work perfectly. Yeah, so if you want to see inside, 
we have the controller here. So I asked for about 60 amps. We are running steady at 73 degrees of, um, of temperature of the motor, which is fine. You can barely hear anything in here. You can hear it, but it's nothing compared to the diesel engine. And there it is. Yeah, I didn't th don't think you can see anything over there, but anyway. So yeah, next step, water cooling the motor for more efficiency and water cooling the controller as well. But so far, in a 40 degree Celsius day, we are running 72, 72 Celsius, so it's not, it's not that bad. And the water is at 30 degrees Celsius. Actually, 28, that's ridiculous. By the way, of the 50 amps that we are using on the electric motor, they're not all coming from the battery. That's the kids screaming as always. The solar panel is producing something as well. Let's check out how much it is. So, yeah, solar panel is producing 400 watts. And the DC system is using 1700 watts. So, yeah, of course, we are not charging the batteries right now. But still, if we don't use the motor, the electric motor for too many hours every day, we can get all the power back using the sun. But in the in this case, what we did was we motored up the river so we got the batteries to 100 percent that's 16 kilowatts of battery power and now we are motoring down using the power that we generated coming up so it's not all free power you still might need to use some diesel to move forward very pretty well that's it it worked. In fact, we used it a lot. It, it even saved us a couple of times. We had issues with our diesel engine, but the electric propulsion was working, so we didn't lose propulsion. So it was great. If you have any questions or you wanna, I don't know, know more about this, put it down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Well, thanks for watching.